A lot of people vegetable garden at home because they're trying to avoid GMO vegetables, but things are changing because I'm actually holding a GMO tomato plant that you can grow at home. And a lot of people are choosing to grow this plant. Let me tell you why. What I'm holding here is the first and only GMO vegetable plant that is available to the home gardener. This is the purple tomato from Norfolk Healthy Produce. But why, right? Why? Why would they do a GMO vegetable plant that's marketed for the home gardener? Well, the reason is because it is actually advantageous because it's actually more nutritional than typical tomatoes. What this company has done by modifying this plant in a laboratory is they have spliced in Snapdragon genetics into this tomato plant. And what it does is it causes anthocyanins to accumulate in high concentrations in the tomato fruit, which in turn gives them a rich dark purple color. Now, what are anthocyanins? They are actually very powerful antioxidants that are also found in blueberries. So now you can get essentially the same high levels of antioxidants that blueberries are for you, but in tomatoes. And these tomatoes are much more vigorous and easier to grow than blueberries are for most people. So yeah, if you decide to grow this plant, you're going to be met with an indeterminate tomato variety that just grows really large, and it makes lots of big clusters of small purple tomatoes, which to me, they just taste like tomatoes. They don't taste really any different than your run-of-the-mill cherry tomatoes. Now, of course, if you're not into growing GMO plants in your home garden, then you can pick any other type of vegetable because as of right now, there are no other GMO vegetable plants available for home gardeners. So let me know your thoughts down below. Is this something that you would be interested in growing at home? A lot of people are.